Greetings and welcome to my bench for this February's rambling video where I let you guys know what I've been up to and what I've been buying and stuff like that and the, my desk is messy as always uh, so yeah February uh, felt like it took a long time to pass and uh, I stayed at home a lot with some sick kids as well as having a flu myself and also it was my birthday month so I may have bought some kits <laughs> the main event still yet to arrive seeing how it's still on back order at Hobby Link Japan but I'm looking forward to receiving that but in the meantime I've been well kinda busy yeah, busy being not busy though uh, with the kids sick at home uh, I got some bench time and uh, we've been working on the BMW drift car and I haven't really actually prepared for anything for showing but yeah I've been working on the BMW drift car but not a lot of progress has been made though um, I thought about doing a full-on roll roll cage with these the steel bars steel pins whatever it's actually just a welding wire for like low torch welding stuff <coughs> And uh, we got a video coming out on that sometime soon, I hope. But other than that, I haven't really done anything major. I did some scratch building for some interior parts, like a hydraulic handbrake handle. I made that stuff from scratch. I think I showed it off in the last video, I can't remember really. <coughs> yeah, so anyway. Uh, not real no real progress made on that and then I felt like uh, perhaps I should build a panzer or something so this guy I've been working on I kinda got it base coated with paint with the Dunkel Gelb or whatever you want to call it. it it's actually Vallejo middle stone and yeah so this is a, one of my side builds so no video has been made on it but uh, it's currently being worked on kind of and what else I'm trying to move along quickly because I know I can draw these out I'm also working on this Illary uh, Hawk which I'm making up to look like an Australian uh, fighter plane and uh, got the first color on there as you can see and it's waiting for the second color of the camo of the camo scheme um, I did finish a King Tiger 170 second scale and I'm gonna go get that real quick and show you guys and uh, this is it uh, I made up this camo scheme myself from a picture I saw online from another modeler I have no idea if it's realistic or not, but I was just building this for fun and uh, weathered it quite heavily with the life color pigments to make it look dirty and yeah, it's not the best quality camera I got there but it looks okay to me kinda, yeah, don't weather the underside uh, the the MG broke off at some point, so it's not there anymore. But uh, yeah, this is what the details look like. <coughs> so anyway, I I love the King Tigers. I think they're pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, what else? I need to put this away somewhere, and I ain't got no place to put it there <coughs> so that's what I've been working on really and uh, new kits I got some new kits yes indeed yo. Uh, I think I've talked about this before I let my kits go on to the Hobbling Japan site and and pick some stuff out and uh, they've actually been building theirs but I also got one of these for myself uh, my five-year-old got herself a triceratop 
and my six-year-old got herself one of these and I thought whoa T-Rex looks cool so I'm gonna get one for myself and it's absolutely huge I had no idea it was gonna be this huge I knew it was gonna be big but yeah the the main bulk of it is filling the entire box here and they've already built theirs up and they're currently in the painting stage and uh, maybe I'll show them off when they're done I don't know but they're going quite uh, with the artistic freedom that they have uh, the Triceratops is currently red with yellow eyes and uh, yeah but in the same shipment I got me still got myself one of these it has a Gawa 1 second 72nd uh, F-16 Fighting Falcon and uh, looks like a nice kit uh, Hasegawa usually does look like nice kits in my experience and uh, basically got it just because I wanted one of these uh, non-flashy standard looking uh, US Air Force schemes because I already have uh, a couple of F-16s but both of them are like uh, Dutch acrobatic things and also I saw on the Hubblink Japan that the Hasegawa has released this guy uh, yes indeed yo, you're reading this collect correctly it's the one of the Black Knights of Keploik another Icelandic F-15 like the one I did from Italeri the other day except this one has the uh, has a little tail art going on there and uh, it's number 33 I already built the 41 I believe which was also 1980 but that one I thought I think was an F-15A perhaps or was it a C? I can't remember but anyways it's, this is another Hasegawa kit that looks to be quite nice with quite a good de level of detail in there and uh, not only come, does it come with the Icelandic scheme it comes with uh, four schemes in total three other planes with some cool tail art going on there we've got like a samurai guy here and uh, eagle there and uh, yeah I think this is gonna be another cool build I actually wanna get to this fairly quickly but I know that's not gonna happen at all and uh, <clears throat> so this is my birthday haul and I was also feeling like I needed so just a little bit more I think so I went to my local hobby store I haven't been in there for a while and uh, you gotta look you gotta support your local hobby store guys and give them a little bit of your money and uh, <laughs> a little bit I did uh, bought this very cheap Corvette C3 it's 132nd scale so kind of a weird scale for it but I thought I'd give this little guy a try it's only 20 parts and it's a very rudimentary kit with not a lot of detail so uh, still I'm gonna th I think this could be quite fun build is is so cheap it is a great platform to like try out new stuff and try and go for some crazy paint schemes I think as well so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and buy some more of these because Ravel does more than just a Corvette it also has a Opel GT a Volkswagen Buck and a uh, and like a June buggy thing which is like a Myers Manx or something whatever you call it it's a VW kit car and yeah I also had a little look around and got this uh, sweet little Spitfire 172nd scale uh, from Airfix and uh, it has a really cool Swedish s scheme in it that I'm gonna be doing also for an airfix kit it has a really dark plastic I like that in a way but yeah just want to show you guys real quick here the the Swedish scene scheme so yeah I really like this blue it's all blue with the Swedish three crowns there I just think it looks really cool and I want to build that um, 
The RAF version also looks kind of cool. It's all silver. But maybe I'll rebuy this kit at a later date and, and make that one. I'm not sure though. Um, so yeah, this has been my monthly update. Uh, what's coming up also is the... Uh, uh, just continuing working on the BMW. I gotta get that going again. I have decided on color for the body. Uh, I was going for like a dark purplish kind of color. And I've been trying it out on this uh, Viper. This is my paint mule. Hence the nasty looking bonnet hood. Uh, yeah, it's been painted over quite a lot of times. So I was doing some experiments with uh, trying to spray Vallejo black wash over the purple to get like a darker, darker, darker purple on it. I don't know why you have to suppress your R so much when you speak English. Because in Icelandic we'd say R. So this would be darker purple <laughs> with a thick Icelandic accent. But anyways, uh, I don't really like the way this came out. The color's nice and all, but the wash really accentuates everything. So this is a more subtle, subtle version where I just sprayed the purple straight on. And then I mixed a little black wash into the clear coat. Um, it did not work out quite as I had hoped. It kind of clouded up a little bit. The camera doesn't really pick it up. But yeah, you can see how the clear coat kind of clouded it a little bit. So I reckon I'm just going to go for the purple straight out of the can. It's not actually purple, it's the Leo Game Color Hexed Lichen or lichen, I don't know how to pronounce it and the bottle has gone AWOL at the moment so I can't show it uh, here it is game color hex lichen it's, it's a pretty cool color um, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on the BMW though but I've been looking at some pictures and turns out purple is quite a popular aftermarket color for these cars so we'll see how that turns out and uh, yeah and we also got the got a, uh, a group build coming up a night fighter group build i believe it is uh, through a group on facebook that is called something that i forgot world war one and beyond modeling i think it was Um, but anyways, I uh, got the Night Fighter group build coming up. Uh, should be building that pretty soon. It started, I think, uh, it's the March 1st. And also, uh, Steve over at GregTheFish.net uh, YouTube channel has is hosting a uh, group build for flankers. And everyone with a YouTube channel is free to join. It started on March the 1st and it goes till December 31st I believe and you can build any kind of flanker as long as it's a, a Sukhoi SU something or other flanker and for that I'm going with the 170 second scale of course that's my scale uh, the Revell Sukhoi SU27 SM flanker SM meaning it's a repop of an old plane so they they've kind of updated it for uh, continued service with the Russian Air Force um, comes with this really cool blue tone scheme I um, think I'm gonna be doing this uh, two-tone blue scheme rather than the other tricolor camo that has more gray in it because we did that kind of with the uh, with a SU-50 or T-50 what, what was it called again? the stealth plane that we built a while back or last month I forgot but anyways, yeah, so stevethefish.net if you're interested. Steve the... Greg the Fish? What? His name is Greg. The channel is stevethefish.net. Sorry, man. 
I get that things confused. But anyways, if you're interested, go over to stevethefish.net. I'll include a link below. And all you need is the right kind of attitude, a YouTube channel. It's only open to YouTube channels. You gotta post updates on your YouTubes. And there are no prices, this is just for fun, to promote the hobby and stuff. And uh, the best kind of group builds are, in fact, in my opinion. So yeah, uh, late entries are welcome, you've got till the end of the year. And uh, yeah, like I said, any kind of a uh, flanker is allowed. And you can find more infos at the link or below. So anyways, uh, sorry for going on like this guys and <laughs> sorry to everyone involved in my confusions and forgetfulness. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!